period. And you know, Danny Stewart said that the pro young protege is coming along nicely as Vaselli's going to come across the line and score. And the Blazers' lead is coming along nicely. Vaselli sent wide into the offensive zone, but was able just to cut out inside the hash marks and found the twine glove side. Deception by Colin. He's a quick up the lick. Lick leaves it for Hook. Hook tries to feed it back. He gets in. Great play there on the back door. And Belfast kicked the lead for the first time tonight. It's 2 1. Oh, lovely play. Both teams skidding with great intensity. They're able to, to send it back towards him now. They get the breakout. Rasker has got it there. Neumann is on the wing. Rasker comes around. They're trying to find it, and it's goal. Neumann there for the Sheffield Steelers. Cuts the deficit to one. Well, we said it wasn't a very exciting start to the first period. It's Britain using that big frame. Tie up his man. Comes away with a pack. Waller. Goal! The Bears will be aired. The Devils will take the lead. Josh Waller with a peach of a wrister. And the Devils get an early goal. more easy now we're seeing teams who are getting average goals of sort of three and a half to four a game which is quite the numbers yeah it's going to be a two on one here for the flames chance down low ferguson on the back door they score a wonderful little tic-tac-toe play and the guildford flames have hit a, a three punch combo and all of a sudden it looks like the visitors are running away with it the blaze have caught a timeout as we look at this one again yeah, we see again in their own zone, the Guildford Flames pick up the puck and then very quickly transition, stretch pass through the neutral zone. Future mainstays of the Great British Blue Line as Coventry going to take that puck away from the Storm. They're going to have a two-on-one. Ripley, it's going to go himself, he scores! Nathan Ripley! Ripper by name, ripper by nature. And the Blazers are running up the score here. And it's... Almost a, a carbon copy of the Vaselli goal from just a couple of moments ago. Is all checking again. Help out. Fawcett managed to poke the puck away, and a, unfortunately for him, a broken twig leaves the puck with Anjali. Here comes Ben Lake. Lake, oh, what a finish for Ben Lake! He only had a postage stamp in the top corner. He made no mistake, it's now 3 2 to Belfast. There's one of those lucky bounces we talk about. The Manchester player here is going to try and break out of the zone. The stick's going to snap. It's going to fall right into the slot. Yeah, and watch this goaltender goes down in an RVH. Thinks he's got it covered, leans into it. Nope, no, you don't. Good night. Bad leg, fantastic goal. Up over the shoulder. Escape there for the Panthers. Here yes. comes Dundee again, then cross ice pass for Soke this time. Soke top of the circle, moves in down low, turns to Jumbo home and scores! Ben Soke releases the Teddy Bears with 8.57 left in the first period. Dundee won, Nottingham won. Well, what a huge equalising goal for the Dundee Stars and for Ben Soke at the same time. Goal number six of the season for him. And well, that's a big one for many reasons. One, the fact there's Teddy's all over the ice now. And two, that gets this crowd going. And hopefully gets some noise and atmosphere in this building as the stars go level peg in here. Look Thanks. at this. Which skates in here. Just drives in, drives in, drives in. Gets himself round the goaltender. And knocks it some elite league minutes and yeah I think that's great by Corey to do that oh, with the space opening up Hammond oh! oh what to say by Shane Owen again it opened up for Hammond but Shane Owen I, I think he's superhuman you know I just gave out a yelp yeah it's it almost like him missing that first shot helped Hammy it got him a way better angle Scott Conway Scott Conway feeds it inside Cooper has got Cooper. Cooper finishes it off. We talk about that quick goal. Tickle 332 on the clock. And as you said, right at the very start, it's that top line that seems to be coming up with all the goals right now. It is, and that's, that's a great little bump pass for Goodwin. He makes his way in through the state line. Goes all the way through to Colin. Colin now. 
Going for a skit, sends it across to Foley. Foley, a little bit of hesitation there, kick free, and there's a chance for Manchester in on the attack again, a breakaway, forehand backhand, and it's pulled away by Fawcett. Again, the Manchester Storm back to 2-2, and a mistake on the offensive blue line for the Giants. Yeah, it's just a mishandle, here it is. Flips off, tries to do a little fake, kick then because he's got his guy, he's not looking at this. I can't tell which number it is. 16, it's Fawcett. Fawcett breaks down, and you know, he's in extra space. Fake, gets Jonesy down, goes around him. Nice goal, in fairness to the storm. Tim a big old shove. Loose puck. Oh, picked up by Talberg. Big chance, Kim Talberg. Deeks. And somehow McAdam has made a save. A worldie of a save from the Flames netminder. We held our breath expecting the net to bulge, but the only thing that did was I think the glove hand. Play continues. Barrow feeds it inside. There's an old man rushing in behind the defense. Simmons, what a finish by Scott Simmons. It's 2-2, shorthanded goal for the Manchester Storm. What a great play by Simmons. You know, Anzali gives away a yeah, loose puck, and he puts his Belfast Giants teammates under pressure. Just nice wall play on the PK by the Manchester Storm. Simmons just comes down, has plenty of time. 30 seconds remain with the extra man. Herman, to do look across to Orville. Orville, look at the tip in front of 3-2 to the Storm. Fantastic play. Around the outside, and it's hip in front, right on the doorstep. And Simmons looks like he's got a second of the night. Such a great goal. Must be at least four or five passes there in that power play, using all the space, cross ice, left, right, top. On the Conway back to Foley to the right side now. Foley. Unfortunately for him, there's a chance for Orval now, round the defence, when Orval steps into the middle and he's finished it off! It's 4-2 to Manchester! Again, a collapse in the middle, Adam Keith absolutely will be not happy with that one. Again, cut to the middle, and Orval shows why he's got 17 already this season, and now he makes it 18. It's 4-2. Best individual play of the game so far, Orval taking around one, two players, Unleashing a nice shot whilst he's fallen to the ice. We touched on it earlier on in the game, uh, earlier on the show. Simon, he's the man to watch.